he was ready to volunteer for termination. Thankfully, since you've arrived, that no longer seems necessary. Oh, termination. God. Y you mean... It means that he was going to volunteer his own life for the sake of the others on this ship. Oh. Due to limited spaces and supplies. God. Like the others, his life would then be honored with special distinction and recorded for history. Rarely, oh. we had to make difficult choices when no one would volunteer. But Mabuti is too generous to let that happen. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. That puts a new sort of urgency on the whole thing, doesn't it? The Constant is a peaceful ship. Don't change that. Careful waving that fancy gun around. You don't need to see what it can do. This thing, it, believe it or not, it's non-lethal. I came in peace. And I really would like to keep the peace, if that's at all possible. I find the interior of this ship comforting. Yeah. I'm not finding the current situation comforting. Sorry. I was lost in the memory for a moment there. Yeah, that's... How can no, I help? And I'm just, well, uh, yeah, you can't really. I've got to go and speak to the people down there and try to come up with some compromise. There's no way they're going to agree to just leave, and I don't know how many of them there are down there, but, you know, they're almost certainly better armed. And they're not going to live... Right, and why would they? I mean, I get it. These people placed a claim on this planet hundreds and hundreds of years ago. I mean, I get it, and they feel like they've claimed it, therefore no one else should have settled it, but, like, you can't expect 200 years to pass and that claim is valid when, you know, you didn't get here for 200 bloody years. It's not how it works, but in the end, it's going to come down to might is right, isn't it? <sighs> so then the question becomes, who has the most might? No, let's see if we can avoid that. Let's... Yeah, we don't want this beautiful planet to just break out in war. And it's a big planet. Surely they can just sort of join up. I mean, rather than one colony on one side, one colony on another, just merge together. I don't know. I'm just going to go and speak to the chief. I know he's... I know those Varun zealots live in space or got separated from their home planet or what. But they scavenge what they need. Lots of old facilities left over from the colony war. And they like to pick them clean. Yeah, that is true. Okay, hi. I'm sure hi. whatever you work out with Oliver will be fine. Yeah, I just wanted to quickly... Good luck handling this situation. Glad I'm not in your shoes. You don't want to know. All Stay right. out of trouble. <laughs> I'm neck deep in it. Desperately trying not to go under at the moment. Okay, we need to find Oliver Campbell. All right, scanner. Don't fail me now. We're heading... Okay, seriously, scanner. Can you... Can you... Get with the civilization. Hmm? We're not jumping over things. I'm sure there's a way to walk here. What does your scanner reveal? Uh, I'm an idiot. And I should trust it. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I am going to find the civilized way of doing this. Uh-huh. So you get off the ship, you get greeted here, of course. I should have thought of that. And then you go down the ramp. That's how civilized people do it. Yeah? Okay, is the sun going down a little? Could be. 
All right, is the entire hotel? I can see why this location was chosen for a resort. Very nice. It is. They've got an enhance for people who, I don't know, suddenly realize they're not pretty enough for this place. I don't know. Or maybe they do something in this place and feel the need to change identity. <laughs> yeah, that could be it, couldn't it? Right, that's the main entrance to the place. What's this? Looks sort of like a diner. Chunks! It's a... It's a Chunks diner. All right. Well, you know what? Let's... I don't know Hello. what terminology they use. This still smells like a chunks. Okay, not a fan. Hello, hello. Welcome to Chunks. If this is your first time dining with us at this location, you'll find our cuisine and service is a step above what you're used to. Please, mm. don't hesitate to ask if there's anything I can do to make your Chunks experience as enjoyable <laughs> as possible. You really are... Is working at gourmet chunks any different from her regular chunks? I mean, they're still square blocks of food, right? I used to work at a chunks in Neon before my transfer was approved, and while I much prefer working here, I can say that it's not a lot different. It looks a lot nicer, the food is supposedly higher quality, and we treat the customers with greater care, but that's really about it. <laughs> that, was a, that was a terrible sales pitch, basically. Um, but it's an upscale chunks, right? Yeah, I know. It seems ridiculous. Especially since most of the food is the same old chunks as anywhere else. But people here really seem to like it. Yeah. Honestly, what else do you want me to say? This is my employer and they treat me well enough. So please, enjoy some gourmet chunks. That might be the single most honest sales pitch I've ever heard in my life. Uh, out of curiosity, sure. what are you what selling? What can I get for you? I'm not promising I'm going to buy anything, though. Um, it's, yeah, out of curiosity, can we sell you stuff? We can, are we, hey, would you like, for some reason, we just keep picking up junk food and stuff, alien kebabs on our way out there. Would you like something? You must be, you probably don't want a bitten sandwich, right? I mean, how bad can the chunks be? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Have a bit and sandwich. Thanks for visiting chunks. <laughs> she actually sounded pleased. You know, she probably hates chunks at this point. She's like, as soon as we leave, she's going to run around the back and eat a couple of things and get herself gorged on something that is not a cube. Um, okay. Can't say I blame her. Right. Hello. You work here? Hope you're having a pleasant day. Hello, welcome to Hotel Paradiso. You may continue inside to the main desk if you need to check in for your stay, or feel free to browse the shops along the promenade. Oh, I like Let the idea of shops. Let me know answer any questions you may have, or help you in any other way. However, I'm gonna do, I will do my shopping later. Right now, I'm, oh, I tell you what. But this place, it's some sort of resort, right? I want the spiel. Oh, this is your first time here. That's yes, it exactly is. what it is. Paradiso prides itself on being the fanciest, most relaxing resort getaway in the galaxy. People from all over come here to bask in the sun, enjoy the all-natural beaches, explore, enjoy the local wildlife, and generally get pampered. Right, yeah. What if I just want to use the beach? Unfortunately, the beach is reserved for hotel guests only, and that goes for the entire planet's beaches. Right, the right, right. The Paradiso Group owns all land on Parima 2, so you must right. either be a resort guest or have prior authorization for any public or private beach use. But, right. and you didn't hear this from me, security rarely has the bandwidth to patrol outside the main resort. This is useful information, actually. Okay, uh, who do I see about booking a room? For that, you'll want to head inside, go to the main desk, and speak with Dirk. He'll be more Dirk. than happy to guide you through the check-in process. Mm-hmm. And where would I find Oliver Campbell? If you have business with Oliver, you'll first need to speak with Kiwi, the board's executive Kiwi. assistant. Okay. You'll find them if you take the elevator up to the top floor and go down the hallway. All right, thank you very much. You've been very helpful. Take care. Yeah, if I'm going to be... 
coming up with a diplomatic solution. I... I do not need to know that man's story. No, I do not. Curiosity is a terrible thing I cannot sometimes. recall ever having the time, let alone the funds, for a vacation someplace like this. Yeah, well, if I don't get this right, we might never be able to, which would be a shame. Hello, Dirk. <sighs> Another lost belonging notification in the system. When am I going to find the time? Lost belonging. Oh, dear, a guest. Dreadfully sorry you had to hear my complaint. How unprofessional of me. Don't worry Hello. about it. Hello. Welcome to Paradiso. Dirk Huddleston at your service. Do you need assistance checking in for your reservation? I do not have a recommendation. Um, let's have a No, it sounds like you're in the middle of something. Should I come back? Oh, no, no. Nonsense. Just a small scheduling issue. Some of our guests have misplaced their belongings, and I am responsible for finding and returning said belongings. Okay. Just one of the many services we are happy to provide here at Paradiso. Nothing to worry you about. May I continue to check you in? All right. Uh, I don't have a reservation, but I'd like to book a room if possible. Yeah, go on. Hmm. Very well. I can't guarantee we have any premium rooms available at the moment, but if you're still interested, we may have other rooms. I would have liked a premium one. Okay, um... Okay. We might want to get him on our side. What can you tell me about Paradiso? Broad question, but I'll try my best. I've been hearing Paradiso that a lot recently. Paradiso is the premier resort destination in the known universe. This planet is as perfect as one could possibly imagine. That is, assuming pristine beaches, constant beautiful sunny weather, and fabulous resort accommodations are to your liking. Okay, then. And which resort accommodations can you recommend? For one, our hotel rooms are quite luxurious. The executive suite is especially posh, but perpetually booked. However, I must say, even the economy rooms are exceedingly pleasant. You'll find our beach relaxing, and we have several top-notch shops and dining experiences. I particularly enjoy a spot of afternoon tea from Tranquility. Okay. Of course, we also have the galaxy's only gourmet chunks. <laughs> and if you're feeling adventurous, I believe the Enhance is still running a very popular Paradiso getaway special. <laughs> what? Get away from your loved ones by changing your appearance so they can't recognize you. Okay, who owns the place? Ah, Parima 2 is owned independently by the Paradiso Group. We exist outside of the United Colonies and Freestar Collective, yet entertain visitors from both. Right. The Paradiso Group is run by several board members, many of whom take residence within the resort itself. They establish the resort as a getaway for all on the most beautiful planet in the universe. And I can tell you that there were substantial monetary investments to make sure of that. Okay. Just out of curiosity, would you like me to help you find lost belongings? Oh, no. You're on vacation. I wouldn't dream of asking a guest to find other guests' lost belongings. It just might but be a good way to... if you want to take a look at the list in the system and you happen to find anything while you're out and about, I suppose it would help me out. Please, don't feel obligated, however. No, 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 no. I would love to have a reason to poke around. Check the computer's lost and found. Uh, yeah, I would like oh, a room. One of our deluxe suites just opened up. I'd be happy to accommodate you. How long would you like to book with us for? Uh, let's have a look. Um... You know what? Let's go the full week. Wonderful. This should be a week of relaxation and pure bliss for you, then. Enjoy Probably your stay. Probably won't be. Okay, so we've got a room here. At ah, where was... here for a little R and R, huh? Me too. Uh, <laughs> actually, no. I came here just to see if there were signs of... Okay, said so lost and found computer, right? There was a lost and found computer. Hey, hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh, thank you very much. Right, so we've got a general store, a check it, and an elevator. We have got this a is even better than in the brochure. coffee bar and a what is this one? That's the terror brew. This would be tranquility, tranquility. Sign is on the wall. All right. Quick oh, question. Can't wait to get out of here for the day. 
Really, you do not seem happy with your job. <sighs> Welcome to Paradiso Gift Shop in Convenience. Oh, Feel free like... to look around, but don't break anything or you've got to buy it. And before you ask, there aren't any discounts. So don't even try to ego with me. I was not going to... I... <laughs> Why do I get the impression that you do not like your job? Why would I? I have to sell overpriced crap to rude, obnoxious tourists all day. My uncle works for the Paradiso board. When he said he could ah. give me a job here, I expected an executive level job, not this. Right. Uh, but it's not all bad. I don't have to worry about getting fired. And I live in Paradiso for free. <laughs> now, can I get you something or are you going to keep asking questions about my life? Yeah. Are you sure I can't talk you down of any of the prices? No. I can oh. be very persuasive. You people always think that just because we're some French planet and not part of the free stars or whatever, that we're happy to aggro for everything. <laughs> I wouldn't even care, honestly. But they take it out of my pay if any money's missing. So no, no discount. Okay then. Let me see what you got for sale. Mm-hmm. That is what we do here. Sell things. Okay, thank you very Have much. Fun out there. Right, so we've learned nepotism is a thing. Yeah. <clears throat> I wonder if anyone else. Hi, you've some... got good taste coming here. What would you like? I'm Hello. browsing. Welcome to Tranquility. If you fancy a cuppa, we have some new and classic blends that are sure to satisfy even the most discerning tea aficionado. Whether you want to relax at the end of the day or energize yourself while watching the latest Red Mile feed. Okay, you get that? You get the Red Mile. The, the Red Mile. I'm going to play dumb. What's that? What? You've seriously never heard of it? Never. The Red Mile is only the most entertaining blood sport in the galaxy. I'd say it's kind of underground, but I thought by now everyone knows about it. We're lucky enough to be in the same system as Parima 3, so we get the local video feeds here. I'm a huge fan. Donovan Reese himself came here and ordered tea at our little shop. He's easily one of the best runners. I almost died a little when he kissed my hand. Anyway, you should go there and check it out sometime. Yay. Yeah, I've met him. Tea's not my thing. I do enjoy a nice cup of tea every now and again, yes. Hi, that's the spirit. It's not like you'll find a better drink over at Cafe Lux, am I right? Well, I like so, coffee as well. what can I get for you today? Uh, what teas do you recommend? Well, if you want something strong, we have Earl Grey, breakfast or classic black tea. I like the if breakfast tea, If you want something tea, relaxing, actually. we have chamomile or easy sleep. But if you want something more exotic to tickle your fancy, might I suggest Lotus or Sunray? No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm good though, so thank you very much. Thanks for choosing us over Cafe Lux over there. Okay, this is awkward. Um, just, um, okay, she's not looking quick. If Hi. only I could figure out the secret to that new drink. I might need to enlist outside help. Okay. I get the feeling I should be backing away right now, but I really am hoping to just get as much information as possible before speaking to the man upstairs. <gasps> Hi. Hey. Sorry. Didn't mean to be rude and ignore you when you came in. I'm just trying to figure out the solution to a problem I'm having. What can I do for you? The problem you're... I've got to know. I've just got... How is your cof coffee different than any other coffee out there? Ah, well, I'm not sure if you know this, but most coffee is synthetically created. Ours mm. is 100% organic, made from coffee beans rescued from Earth hundreds of years ago and cultivated by Café Lux authorized growers. Really? Trust me, you can really taste the difference between our real coffee and the other, uh, stuff. Okay, good, good sell. How's the coffee business then? Not bad. Well... It'd be a little better if that tranquility weren't within spitting distance. Ah, uh, I'm not saying anyone should spit on tranquility, by the way. Just maybe don't buy their tea. Drink coffee instead. Yeah? Yeah. 
I like coffee as well. Look, I like coffee. I mean, probably I'd go with coffee more than tea. But you can have both. And you're right next to each other. So, basically, you can get multiple customers coming in, a group. And if one wants tea, they can get tea. One wants coffee, they get coffee. See, you're kind of catering to slightly different tastes. But in the same area. Look at it that way. Or tell me what you're looking for help-wise. Matter of fact, I am. We keep losing business to tranquility. It oh, seems God. like they're always trying new things, new recipes. And, well, we just have the same old coffee here. I have an idea, but I don't know if I have the skills to pull it off. What kind of skills are we talking about? I need help from someone who is good at getting others to do what they want. Or good at, uh, stealing. What I'm proposing may not be entirely legal. Bye bye. And even if I could succeed, stop talking. I fear the risk is too great for me. Okay. I don't understand. You don't have the skills to brew better coffee. No, I mean, yes, I do. What I mean is that's not the problem. It's not about brewing better coffee. We already have the best, most authentic coffee on the market. It's about finding new flavors. I think Tranquility has it right in that regard. I want to find out more about what they're planning next, but I barely know where to begin. Okay, well, uh, it was nice speaking to you. See you later. Yeah. Not getting not into any... I'm not person, but everyone talks about this place. So I had to see for myself. That's nice. Okay. So a bit of industrial espionage going on downstairs. Your Some nepotism. Is not number one priority. Yeah, and your safety is currently my number one priority. Are you coming? Come here. You go dive in as the door closes, like you normally do. Okay. I've got a premium. So before we do that, I think I've got a premium suite. Not no. Was it a deluxe? I can't remember. Give just you know what? Uh, I just want to stay here right now. Did I? take note of where it was to check the computers lost and found actually where, where where was that was it his computer did he didn't I did wonder did he he doesn't mind me just logging into his computer I assumed it was a lost and found computer like on the wall or something messages okay you know what Right, I'm glad I agreed to help this man out. Here are your most recent messages, Dirk Huddleston, room 204. Dirk, a million, under no circumstances are you to allow staff to attend to room 204. This is an ongoing security concern. We're hoping the occupant will relent soon and this will become a non-issue, but please await further instruction. Dirk, despite what the computer system may say, please understand that the room should be considered occupied. So do not allow any bookings of that room until I give the all clear. 204. Lost wedding ring. Hi there, I recently stayed at your resort and while I found the accommodations to be just lovely, I seem to have misplaced my wedding ring. It's very important to me that I get it back before my husband notices. I'm sure you understand. I last had it when I was staying at the cabana. I rented from you, but I searched the cabana itself and couldn't find it. So it's possible it may have fallen in the sand somewhere nearby. And unfortunately, I don't recall which cabana number it was. So maybe you could look it up in your system. I sincerely hope you'll take my issue seriously. I'd hate to ha have to book my next getaway with another resort, given how much I spent at Paradiso over the years. Bit of a threat there. Dirk, my man, you've got to come to the party with us sometime. It's okay to let loose once in a while. I can get someone to cover your shift. Seriously, isn't crazy the fun we're having... Even got some of that stuff from Neon Dirk. Let's effing go. Okay. Somebody is either really, really badly educated or really well inebriated and or medicated. Gift shop complaint. I didn't know who to address this to because I didn't see the gift shop address anywhere. So I'll just do it here. The lady working the store was incredibly rude to me. Oh, I feel you. I was looking to buy a nice little gift for my daughter back home, but this woman refused to look up the price for me unless I was sure I was going to buy it. But when I asked her for her name so I could file this complaint, she said her name was Bite My Ass. So rude. 
Yep, room service. Hello, this is my seventh call for room service in the past hour, and I'm getting upset. I keep ordering the six prawn delight, but each time I try it, it tastes a little funny. Each time I call, the bellhop brings me another one, and each time it still tastes a little off. At first, I thought your chef was incompetent, but now I'm starting to wonder if the bellhop is spitting in it or something. He was giving me the stink eye, and I don't like it. Kids these days have no respect for doing a job well. I demand you send another order up to my room right away, and it better be good, or I'll write a letter to my local newspaper telling them about your terrible service, K. Wren. All right. Lost and found. So we've... Okay, lo lost. Lost. Room keycard. Last remembered having waiting for elevator on fifth floor. Might have dropped. There's a thermos flask, a wedding ring, a slate. Okay. Found. Lots of other stuff. Okay, so we've we've got a bunch of lost and founds here, which okay, I'll keep my eyes open. Why not, right? Greetings, sir. How may I assist you? Ah, uh, however, Some right. Some of our guests think everything is complimentary. I've seen people walk away with towels, silverware, you name it. Yeah, people are like that. All right, shall we try? Was it was I was on the was I was a premium suite? I want to just, I basically want to identify my room. Also, wait a minute. What what was the? It was a key card, wasn't it? We try to stay out of the guests' way, but we're always here if needed. Found a keycard. Look at that, look at that, look at that. We're already helping people out. Um I wish I had booked a stay for longer. Okay, they got a gym. And let the concierge know if you need anything. I don't think this was it. I don't think it was one of the premium ones then. Um It wasn't the executive floor, that's where we're meeting a guy. Was it a deluxe penthouse suite? It did say a deluxe suite, didn't they? I should really pay attention. Inaccessible. Hey! Yeah, it was. It was it was a it was a penthouse suite. A penthouse suite. Got a pool table. Alright, you know what? This is not bad. We got it for a week. Oh, this is not bad. It also reminds me, I need to get some. Oh wow, it's the middle of the night. Good view of the ship as well. Oh, I like this. Oh, we could definitely spend some time here. Assuming there's not an all-out war being waged. Right. Let's go and speak to Oliver Campbell. If we can find him. If the Paradiso board is busy in a ah. meeting, you can always count on me to relay your message. Kiwi. During the day, I'm all business. But when work's done, I like to enjoy the resort like everyone else. Okay, that's great. Could, could we speak? Between you and me, I'm kind of glad most of the execs never show up to work. I really need to speak to your boss. Hi there. I've got a lot on my plate right now, but I'm happy to help if you need it. I do. I need it. I, I... it may Excuse me. Oh. You can't that just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Time. Okay. I kind of do. Uh, do I need one? Okay, yeah, I kind of do. You have a problem with a ship in orbit, and I'm here to help. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for, then. Yes. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? Um, oh, hmm. What were everyone's thoughts when the ECS constant showed up? People were a little freaked out around here, understandably. It looks so different, and it's so massive. We honestly thought we were under attack by an unknown entity. But then... Nothing happened. It just stayed there. No one could communicate with it. And we've been very careful not to alert the resort guests. The board believed it would be... bad for business. Yeah, that's true. What can you tell me about the board members? Who am I dealing with? <laughs> what I could tell you would get me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Most of them are typical C-level execs. I doubt you even need to use your imagination for that. The ones that show up to work day to day, at least. I swear, I've never even met some of them, because they chill at their own private secluded beach homes all the time. Anyway, be smart around Oliver. He's got a way of getting what he wants without you realizing it. And that's okay. all I'll say. Okay. So what's it like working for Paradiso? 
I can't speak for anyone else, but I've got a pretty high-pressure job working as the executive assistant to the Paradiso board. You can imagine dealing with a team of execs trying to manage all of their schedules and their other whims. But it pays well, and they give me a nice executive suite at the hotel to live in. So it's not all bad. Free access to all the resort's amenities after work helps, too. All right, well, I'm ready to go into the boardroom. Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. Oh, okay. Sure. I'm thinking I might want to... Your abilities are truly amazing. Thank you. you. Okay. Be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenities. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Campbell. It's not important. Bring it up with Keith. People can go to any one of them. Okay, um, let me have a look. Bring to the table. I'm not going to chat about these right now. Look, I understand you're the man I need to talk to about the strange ship in orbit. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm going to cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> okay, you know what, though? That's not a... That's despicable. You know that's not true. Well, no, no, no. Don't, don't, don't pretend they're aliens. Say, come visit the colonists or something. Um, Let's just... Sure, whatever. It's brilliant. People are never going to fall for that. They're really not. Okay. So, first of all, tell me why this problem is so urgent to you. Um, Just... And then I'll tell you why it's really important to you. We run a premier resort getaway here. <laughs> we can't have our guests concocting stories about some bodgy old ship hanging around up there. As it is, we've had to reroute our luxury liners around the other side of the planet on entry so no one sees it. <laughs> it's bad for business. We need to nip this in the bud and take care of it before the tourists catch on and cause a scene. Yeah, you got bigger problems than, than, than that. Um, People are never going to fall for that. Yeah, probably. Some of them might. Look, let's just get to the matter at hand. Ah, we're being direct then. Good on you. So, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? Right. Um, let's have a look. Okay, let's not go with, you can exploit them. What would you say if I told you it was really an alien mothership here to destroy the planet? Um, you know what? No, um... I'm just gonna go with the neutral one. It's a generation ship full of colonists from Earth, here after a 200-year journey. Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not gonna work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Okay. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Okay. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Interesting idea. Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely uh. they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. Okay. Um why can't they just settle on the other side of the planet or something? They don't actually want to, but let me hear your answer. We own this planet, they don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't mm. like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with. And how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No. Much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. Okay. These are human 
beings and you're worried about landscaping. It's pretty absurd, you know. Um, yeah. Well, absurd or not, that's our official stance. I make the decisions that are best for our entire group. You don't. All right. So... I have to buy the grav drive. Okay. Wait a minute. Cease to exist. You're suggesting I destroy the ship. That's what you were suggesting. That's kind of the feeling I got. I'm not suggesting anything. Other than it would make our lives so much easier if that ship ceased existing. Make of that what you will. See, I'm finding my precognition disturbing here. I, I almost don't want to know. I want to hear them say it. Why can't we just let some other authority handle this? Because they're outside of the Free Star and you see. Um, why? Wait, why do I have to buy the Grav Drive? He's going to tell me they aren't responsible for this. I This I want to hear. So they can live here, but they'd be indentured servants. Oh, I didn't say that specifically. This would be a mutual contract for room and board in exchange for services rendered. Of course, there's no telling how long this arrangement will last, given the substantial costs we'd need to take on in order to accommodate them here, including <sighs> their continued room and board. But this may save the resort on operating costs in the long term, as we'd be able to let go of some of our current paid staff. <laughs> oh, God. So basically, if I, if I convince them to stay here as indentured servants, you'd be able to fire all your staff. I think I've made up my mind... I think I'd like to shoot you in the face. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain. <sighs> okay, wait a minute. What if after all this, they do continue to insist that their claim on to this planet predates yours? They'd be hard-pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. All we right. may be outside the settled systems, but that child as official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Yeah, no, okay. Um, How much will the grav drive cost? Because honestly, I don't think they're going to want to be indentured servants, and I don't blame them at this point. Look, I will buy the grav drive, I've got the funds, and I'll convince them to settle elsewhere. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. What? He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. They deserve a renewed chance to decide their own fates. That is the right thing to do. Oh, right. I'm glad you agree. On behalf of the Paradiso group, we appreciate your help. It's the only thing we've really got to offer. Uh, I don't want to risk us coming off as just another artificial, shady, trash filled dump like Neon. That's not who we are. Too late. We've got something special here. Too late. Hello. I'm going off the idea of spending any time in this place. It's amazing, isn't it? You, you meet the people in charge and suddenly find yourself somewhat disgusted. So we have to go to Hope Tech and get a grav drive sorted out, and then we have to come back here and try to convince the colonists to accept this deal. Good day, Captain. I, I think it's the best option. I really do. I just... <sighs> it is. Always makes me feel better. Right. Let's just head straight there. Okay, Hope Tech is in the Narian system. Okay, let's go. Now we've been here before. Interesting. Wait, what was that? Polvo Station. Done. I can't remember Welcome what Polvo Station had. However, we are looking 
for Hope Town, which is there. Whilst we're here, we should probably check to see what ship upgrades are possible here, and also sell some stuff. Hello? We'd be dust, except for the factory. Hope Tech is over there, right? Yep. Best defense. Oh, we we can definitely sell some stuff whilst we're here. Yeah. Awful. A fair amount of business runs yep. through Hope Town, and from what I understand. Most of it is legal. Most of it is legal. Right, we're taking... Okay, we're just entering the door. I thought it was an elevator for a second. Okay. Hello. Just keep it holstered. We'll all get along fine. I always keep it hol... Oh, the weapon. Yes, definitely. Um... I have never liked Hope Tech ships. Though I suppose that is hardly the point of them. Probably. Okay. Workers like to play hard here. They deserve it. Excellent. Hi. Welcome to Hope Tech Sales. Give me your invoice. You got the financing set up already? Uh, let me have a I don't Who do you think I am? I'm sorry. Who do you think I am? Some middle manager type? Like 90% of everybody I deal with. <laughs> Listen, you may need to impress your boss and all, but I don't care. Let's just get this done as efficiently as possible, and we'll, I'll just tell everybody how amazing you were. Yeah, I, I was thinking of buying something here, but I'm not sure yet. Oh, a potential customer, huh? Yes. Well, what you need to know about our ships is they're from stern about built for reliability. Okay. The star yards might got glitz or some weird crazy lines. With Hope Tech, you get people that care about you making that 300th freight run safely and on time. Okay, well that's, that's, I don't know, aesthetics matter to me. I like the sound of Hope Tech. I do! Question, what do you think of Ron Hope? He's the man that runs the place, right? Listen, this whole system was nothing until Ron Hope came here. He gave us a purpose, a, a mission. Something we could be proud of. To us, this job is life. And the quality of what we make shows it. Oh, that's good to know. Well, I like the sound of Hope Tech, yes. A smart person. Chooses substance over form every time. Sound familiar? Uh, so what yeah. are you in the market for? Okay, um... Okay. Well, what can you tell me about your ships? I don't think you're the person I'm supposed to be seeing. What can you tell me about your ships? Our motto is, they're trucks in space. <laughs> and captains pushing freight through the systems are our bread and okay. butter. But Hope Tech builds solid. A lot of formidable scout ships and even military rigs use Hope Tech. Okay. Um, I'm, right. I'm interested in what sort of ships you're selling. But first of all, tell me, how did you wind up here? I worked the freight lines flying a Hope Tech ship for near a decade. Gertrude saw me through plenty of scrapes and just hard travel. Hope Tech ships will save your life. They did mine. Oh, you see, now that's the good sell. That's the good sell. Let me see what Let ships me show you're you selling. Inventory. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see. Woo, okay. Don't mock the woman's ships, but these these are chunky. They're built for cargo. Definitely built for cargo. Good grief. She was... N okay, that's still hideous. She was not lying about function before form. That is absolutely true. Ooh, good, good grief. God, who came up with this design? Okay. So wait, silent runner? Hurry. Right. Okay, well, they're, they're very nice. They were very, very nice. I may check in to see if I can upgrade my ship. However, right now, I need to speak to Benu St. James. Um. I just want to get all these approvals over with. Okay, I'm just going to wander upstairs. I get the feeling that the person I'm looking for is, is an executive somewhere up here. And I'm going to speak to them, because my scanner tells me so. And I love my scanner. Hello! Oh no, that wouldn't work. The O2 needs enough capacity for the whole ship. Okay. Hi. We could save valuable weight if we got rid of the pilot seat. Maybe an ottoman? Can't get rid of the pilot. Shh. I'm sorry, what ships have you worked on, exactly? Wait, all of them. I've been with Mr. Hope since near the beginning. 
I think he appreciates my attention to detail and my focus on the fundamentals. Although he has been hinting that the R&D budget may dry up if I don't produce results. Okay, but I mean, removing the pilot seat sounds like a bad direction to go in. What is it like being an engineer here? Oh, it's marvelous. Oh, well, that's good. Generally, they only care about efficiency, cost effectiveness, and reliability. Oh, sure, there are the odd complaints about comfort and lack of decent airflow, but they <laughs> almost always side with the numbers. Okay, well, fair enough. Look, I hear you're an expert with grav drives and other ship parts. I need to ask a big favor. Sure, that sounds like me. What can I do for you? I'm a little busy, but uh, I think I could spare some time. Right, we're all busy. No, Oliver Campbell sent me. I'm here about a grav drive for an old colony ship. Oh, you should have just said that. Of course I can help you. Okay. Oliver sent a courier ahead of you. I did some research on ships from that era, and I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. All right. So grav drives didn't really take off until after the ship was built. But I've got access to an ancient grav drive that looks like it could be compatible. It's some minor adjustments. It's in good shape, too. Okay. But it's not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor, and it's yours. Uh -huh. 40,000 credits. <laughs> it's a lot. I mean, I've got... Maybe we can find a way to lower the price just a teeny bit, a tad, it's a smidge. A pretty big ask, given how rare these old grad drives yeah, are. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh. Okay. Surely the profit you'd make doesn't compare to the freedom you'd be giving these people. Maybe it is selfish of me to demand it, such a price. Yes. Tell you what. Sounds like this is for a good cause. It is. While I can't give you the part for free, I won't charge you for the work. Okay. 25... Okay. That is... Yeah, no, that is very reasonable. Thank you very much. You're done. Right it is. I'll get to work on it right away. I recommend you go back to the ship and ask the captain to prepare for its retrofit. Standard stuff. I'm sure they have an engineer on board to help. We'll okay. send the part along when it's ready and install it with the help of Oliver's people. Pleasure working with you. You too. Thank you very much. Right, that is good news. But now comes the hard part. We have to convince a ship full of people to abandon their dream of settling on that luxurious planet in favor of, well, wandering off and finding somewhere else. But this time, they will have a grav drive. 